So I am going to now show everyone what the hell is going on with my download of Forza Horizon 3. Okay, so I have it downloaded on the Windows Store. That's not a problem whatsoever. So then I go down here. Oh, look. Hey, the icon's blank, but that's not that's not what we're going to get to anywhere right now. Um, so what we're going to try and do is boot Forza Motorsport 6 Apex. There. Hey, look. It's booting. It's totally working right now. So it'll load, it'll load, or we can just probably exit out of it right down here. No, okay. So we got to wait for it to turn off of course is it going to is it going to it will it'll do its thing we'll exit out of it really quick there we'll just we'll just cut that loose so forza 6 apex works just fine so say we're going to boot up forza horizon 3 waiting 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 again and it just keeps sitting here i've left it for about 15 minutes just sitting here not doing absolutely anything and then at some point it'll make every single um built-in app on windows not work whatsoever for some reason it actually does work right now because i'm recording it but uh, it'll make my start button inoperable it'll make everything inoperable and then i'll have to control alt delete restart and go back to all this bullshit again so what i'm wondering is why any of us would pay money to have a splash screen because this is one of the issues that i am not seeing any any resolve for whatsoever i see resolve for issues where people can actually boot it up and run it and then hey look it doesn't actually boot up at all for some people and they're not getting the answers that they need because there's been a workaround for every single issue but this one so i'd like to kindly ask turn 10 and playground games and microsoft to sort their shit out because i have downloaded about Mm, I'd say about two to three hundred gig, probably more, three hundred gigs and or more of uh, download and install data. Trying to reinstall it, reinstall it, uh, get it booted up, will not work. It is dumb. I can even pull it up in the settings and find it in the apps and see that there's data there, but it will not pull it up. I can look into the Windows Apps folder, see that it's there, but will not boot up. It doesn't make any sense. If somebody has a solution, please let me know. But otherwise, this is what we're stuck with, and it's so fucking dumb. So please, please, Microsoft, find a solution for this before I ask for a refund. Thank you very much.